everyone, this is Cindy with Queen of the Heart and today I am here with a little scene card for you guys today. Now, um, I kind of want to do cards that could be for a boy or a girl. So that's kind of what this card is. Even though it's got flowers on the paper, it's kind of a subtle kind of a pattern. And this is from Jelly Bean Soup. And I forget the name of the paper pack. It was around here somewhere. And it has left the scene of the crime. Oh, here it is. Spotted Owl Soup is what it's called. So. And that particular paper pack is all blues, yellows, and browns. So very suited to uh, more boy-oriented cards. Okay, so five and a half by four and a quarter card base, and I'm putting it on horribly crooked. I don't know. What went on with that? So I'll take that back on now. Better. Okay. So, I've got some grass, and I believe this is the Martha Stewart's birthday cake grass. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here, and I'm trying to think where my dog came from. You know, I always forget, now that I'm using a Cricut to sign space to hit the information button on this dog. I think he's create a critter too. Okay, so I put the grass on foam. Okay. And the grass is sized fairly small, under an inch. And I think it was an inch and like inch by one inch by four or something like that and I just changed the width instead of the height just to, to fit five and a half and then um, the height actually ended up being perfect for this cut so and, and I just used scrap for that now I've got my dog he's cut quite large I think he's three and a half inches um, but the thing about him is that he's very wide so I I, I just didn't notice how wide he was, so he didn't work for another card that I designed. I actually designed this card to be a little bit different, but then I cut him out, and he was humongous. So um, he didn't work. So I had cut elements for this other card, which I, I am using for another card. Um, and then I didn't want to let this dog go to waste because he actually turned out very cute. Or she okay so put that down there and then I've got this cute Sun now the Sun is actually a, a die cut so um, I want to say that it's um, lawn fawn And the sun's gonna go right here. Try to get all the elements on here. And down, 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 down. Okay, so there's the sun. And then I cut a couple of clouds. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put both clouds on here. So this cloud I went ahead and I did on um, some foam and then I ran this just through my dots embossing folder. Now these clouds are dies from my creative time. That I know because I, I these are my favorite clouds. And I use these quite a bit. Sometimes I will cut clouds. I use the April showers if I want more um, round clouds. This may not work. Hmm. This is going to have to.
to go here and then I'm going to have to do this cloud up here because my dog is huge it is a huge dog so that is a word to the wise, and I know this, but I didn't follow my own, is that you always need to look at the width because sometimes the, the, the things are, are big. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, so then I've got It's a Dog's Life, and this is from, it's from Pink by Design. I don't know if it's, it's I don't think it's Woodland Creatures. but it's from Pink by Design and she does not make new stamps anymore, so. But I do have a lot of hers and I really, really like them. I don't... Okay, voila, there's my card. It's a dog's life, isn't it cute? I like how it came out. Ginormous dog, though. It's like bigger than the whole park. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Cindy the Crane's Art.